Today you're going to be getting a look at the Optronics over 8 inch wide square LED trailer taillights. You can pick up the driver's side with part number STL3RB. Or you can pick up the passenger side with part number STL2RB. These multi-function taillights are designed for trailers over 80 inches wide. It features eight functions, rear and side reflectors, you have your stop lights, tail lights, your license plate light, your turn signal, side marker light, and rear clearance light. The passenger side has all the same functions without the license plate light. The driver side features 23 LEDs. The passenger side has 18 LEDs, again because there is no license plate light. The attachment of the rear clearance light eliminates the need for a separate light to meet DOT requirements. They're made with an all-weather molded plastic housing and a durable lens to protect against corrosion. Compared to incandescent taillights, LEDs are more efficient, they last longer, and there's no bulbs to replace. These are going to be a nice upgrade or replacement for your trailer. Now we'll show you how easy they are to install. I've already gone ahead and removed my old lights. You can do so by removing the nuts on the back side of the light and snipping the wires. Now it's not a bad idea to make sure the area is clean of any dirt or debris. We can go ahead and get started by taking some wire strippers and stripping back our wire about a quarter to three eighths of an inch. Our lights wires do come pre-stripped, but we're gonna take just a little bit more off. Our ground wire comes pre-installed with a ring terminal, so we're all set there. Now you can install your light before you connect your wiring. If your studs don't match up with the holes on your trailer, you may have to drill. I'm gonna take my license plate bracket because we're on the driver's side. Take my flat washers, line it up with the holes, and then push it through. Then I'll take the flange nuts and put them on the other side. I'll get one started and hand tighten, and then we can repeat the same process with the other stud. Once you have both hand tightened, you can take a 7 16 wrench and tighten them down the rest of the way. But be sure not to over tighten, just get it nice and snug on both sides. Now we can start connecting our wires. Since we're working on the outside of the trailer, we're going to be using some heat shrink butt connectors. They're available on our website at eTrailer.com. I'm going to start with my yellow wire here and I'm going to clean up the wire by twisting it just a little bit. Then I'll take the heat shrink butt connector and put it in place. You want to make sure that the wire is not visible and crimp it together. Once it's crimped, it's a good idea to make sure that it's not going to come back out. And then we can repeat the same process with our brown wire. Now we're going to connect our wires together color for color. Brown is our running lights, our yellow is our turn signal connect and then crimp. Once we've got them all connected, then we can take our heat gun and shrink them down. If you need one, this also is available on our website, eTrailer.com. By shrinking these down, it's gonna prevent road grime, dirt, debris, and moisture from getting inside. Now I'm just gonna take some electric tape and put it on my wires to help further clean up my look. Once everything's all wrapped up, I'm just gonna tuck it back behind here. Now the only thing left to do is to connect our ground wire. You'll need a self-tapping screw. We're just gonna go right through the metal here. Now we can repeat the same process with our passenger side. With both lights installed, now let's test them out. That's our tail lights, our brake light on the left-hand side, our brake on the right-hand side, our left turn signal, and our right turn signal. And here's our license plate light. And now you've had a look at the Optronics over 80 inch wide square LED trailer lights. 